Well, hey everyone, Sharon Thomas here with Establish Footsteps Ministry. And as you know, we are in week number two of our Meditate study for the month of January, which we are theming around the word meditate as well. So we're just looking at different scriptures that really are all, all about meditating on God's word. And this week we have been in Psalm 119, a small portion of that very large chapter. I hope you're settling in and finding your rhythm through these movements uh, each day and that it's just a, a rich time for you. That's my prayer, that it's gonna be a rich time in God's word each and every day for you. You know, Psalm 119 is one of my favorites. I love it. I know I told you that last week about Psalm 1 and it is also so one of my favorites. I think I love them both so much because they center in on the value of God's word. And Psalm 119 really does that throughout the whole, you know, of this very, very long chapter. It's the longest chapter in the Bible. And it's so full of expression of the value of God's word. But when we have been looking and meditating on this specific section of it, uh, this week, what you have probably found like me is that there is a consistent theme of the word more. There's more wisdom and insight and understanding and faithfulness and self-control and satisfaction and clarity for the person who is meditating on God's word, who is taking hold of and making God's word their own. And you know, really, what more could we want? I mean, those are some pretty important things. Most of us want more wisdom and insight and understanding and self-control and faithfulness and all of those things. And we're gonna look at each one of those things because we know that they are desirable experiences. We wanna live that way. And that's what happens, the Bible is telling us, when we meditate on the Word of God. In fact, the very first verse of this section Verse 97, David expresses, he says, Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. And that sounds very familiar to Psalm 1, right? Where we were last week when it talked about delighting in the Word of God and therefore then meditating on the Word of God day and night. Sounds like very similar experiences. Now, I want to mention before I look into each one of these verses with you today, uh, alongside this theme of more, that I'm going to be looking at them from the New American Standard Bible version. Uh, I know we're all probably using different versions, and this week I, like you, looked up a different one, a lot of different ones, and I really love the way the Passion Translation, or I should probably say Passion Paraphrase, really, um, you know, uh, described these verses, but I teach and I study most often out of the NASB, and I just wanted to bring clarity to that for you if you're trying to follow along with me specific into the wording that I'm using. Also, uh, just to let you know, there will be times in these listen videos that I make mistakes as I get going and all riled up about things that I make mistakes in giving you references or whatever. If we become aware of a mistake, I will always go back and in the description of the video, we'll make will give clarity to that and maybe the right reference or whatever. That happened last week uh, when I was referencing a, a verse in Psalm 119, actually verse 32, but in the video I said 132 and it confused some of you. So we went back and made that note, but just know you can always look there and you can always reach out. It doesn't bother us at all, but I just wanted you to know that could be the first place you look because a lot of times we will correct. Hopefully I won't make a lot of mistakes, but you know, it happens. I'm human and I get excited and get going and sometimes I'll, I'll reference things wrong. So let's get into this today. Let's, let's look at this today. Verse 98, David first expresses, he says, your commandments make me wiser than my enemies for they are ever mine. So in other words, he gets more wisdom because he's taken hold of the word of God. And specifically here, he's talking about more wisdom than his enemies have. Now we need wisdom for every part of our life. Absolutely. But when you're dealing with an enemy, and an enemy can be another person, it can be a situation, a dynamic, a stronghold of sin in your life, it could be things within you. You can be an enemy to yourself at times. And we need more wisdom than our enemies. This is where we get it. God's word. And David is saying, I have that. I've experienced that. And you know, I can tell you, looking back on my life, in especially in the, the last few years, some situations I have walked through, God has given me wisdom in how to deal with my enemies. And I have gotten that as he's spoken to me through his word. 
such a great thing to be able to experience and to be able to possess and, and benefit from the wisdom of God greater than the wisdom of our enemies. Verse 99, he says, I have more insight than all my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation. You know, very rarely is somebody have more insight than the teacher. The teacher usually knows more. But David is saying, even people who know more than me, I've got more insight than them because I'm hearing from heaven. I'm hearing from God himself. And he's taking hold of the word of God, making it his meditation here in verse 99. And, and in verse 98, he said, you know, that um, the commandments of God are his own. In other words, he's taken possession of those things. He's owning and taking ownership of the word of God. And as a result, he's experiencing this more wisdom, this more insight. And then in verse 100, he goes on to say, I understand more than the aged. In other words, more than people who have more experience than me, who people who've lived longer than me and should have more understanding. We all know that just because somebody gets old doesn't mean that they do have understanding, but the person who has been pursuing the Lord is gonna come into greater and greater amounts of understanding. David is just marveling and saying, look at the benefits that I have gotten, the more that I'm experiencing in my life because I have meditated on the word of God. He's observed the precepts of God. And so he has more understanding. The next two I wanna actually group together from verses 101 and 102. David's talking about having more self-control and more faithfulness to the righteous ways of God. He says, I have restrained my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I've not turned aside from your ordinances for you yourself have taught me more self-control and more faithfulness to live the way that God wants him to live. You know, many of us wanna be able to have that self-control in our life and wanna be able to be faithful. As we're in the word of God and we become more affectionate to the word of God and we see the wisdom and the insight and the understanding, we begin to then walk that out more and more and more in our lives. David is expressing that has been his experience. I love the more in verse 103 where David says, how sweet are your words to my taste. Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. In other words, he is getting more satisfaction than he could get, in this case, than honey from the sweet taste of honey. But I think that really represents anything sweet in this life. You know, there's a lot of great things to experience in this life, but you know what? hearing from the God of heaven, experiencing his presence, knowing the heart of God, those experiences are really much more satisfying than anything sweet we could get in this world. And I think we come to experience that and bear that out in our lives the more we press into the word of God. You know, there are things in this world that we love, me too, and, and maybe it is, you know, something to eat that tastes so sweet like honey, you know, and you just think, how in the world could God's word satisfy me like, you know, that ice cream cone does or, or whatever, and you, you just go, yeah, I see that, but haven't experienced that yet. Let me tell you, the more you walk with God, and, and I know I, I'm getting more and more of this as well, that I begin to find more satisfaction in Him than anything else. And then in verse 104, the last one, David writes, from your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. I would say this is more clarity, more clarity to be able to see what is true and what is false, what is right and what is wrong, and to be able to have the clarity to know how to walk in that. Being in God's word, hearing from heaven, you begin to walk in that and experience that and live with that kind of clarity. You know what? At this time in history, in, in our nation, the United States, I know we have people experiencing uh, doing meditate study outside of the United States, but you're aware of what's going on here. I mean, this is the craziest time I've ever lived in. I need clarity more than I ever have before to know what is right and what is wrong, to know what is false and what is, is true. I need that clarity and you do too. Being in God's word, we're gonna find that. We're gonna experience that more and more and more. So, 
these things that we're seeing right here in this passage. It's certainly not all of what we get to benefit from, from God's word, but it's some really important stuff. Wisdom, insight, faithfulness, understanding, self-control, satisfaction, clarity. You know, these are the kinds of things that people really include in their New Year's goals and intentions and resolutions, right? As the new year begins, people want more of these kinds of things in their life. And you know what they do? You know what we do a lot of times? We load up on books and we, you know, we read articles and we make plans. And we listen to podcasts about what can I do to get more of these things in my life? You know what? This tells us that one book is all you really need. And the reality is this is not even a book. This is the living, active word of God and it's able to do this to produce all of this in our lives and even more beyond all of that so I just want to encourage you that your decision to meditate on the Word of God to be in this study and to give intentionality to that in your life your decision to do that is a very good decision because by doing that you are positioning yourself to experience the more of all of these kinds of things. And I just think that's great. And I'm looking forward to all that we're gonna experience in this new year as we continue to meditate on God's word and do these things and then experience this kind of more. As always, we encourage you to like this video and to share it as, as you know the Lord leads you to do that. We also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It just helps us get the word out, but also helps you know when we post these videos. So we just wanna stay in touch with you. I will definitely be in touch again soon and I'm praying for you as you, like me, are meditating on God's word. Have a great day, everyone.